No blowers or turbochargers on these trucks at all. These are naturally aspirated pickups. All right, we're going to go over on the other side. We're waiting on distance. It's coming in. We're going to go with International out of Chill Halley, Missouri. Cole Shackleford. Oh, Ryder Cowboy. Back down there about 125 feet. He is wishing he had my mother-in-law sitting on them front weights to hold him down. Down here about 300 foot, the motor's saying, boy, I'm proud you didn't have her up here. I couldn't handle it as it was. We're set. We're on the way. We are taking names and taking notes as that international will go the distance of 3, 15, and 71. 3, 15, and 71 and start this show off farther than he did last night. If this guy does that, he'll be out in the parking lot. He pulled 304 last night. He's in contention for the Thunderbolt. Blowed the international away. That checkered leader flag is going to move. What do you say, John Deere? Where's my John Deere people at? Let him hear ya. And this show has just started, and we are a long ways from done. 326 feet, point six nine three, twenty six and 69. He bettered himself by 22 feet. We are dialed in for a four for Rick Johnson. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, this guy gets, took second place last night by less than a foot. He went 305. And this is Tim Lotman. Now, the tractor, I think, is still for sale. He's been a while since he's been out with us. He had to devote time back at the farm. Got second place last night. Farmers for play. And we're going to move that checkered flag again. We're going to move that checkered flag again. Notice his rear wheels and tires. Those come from extreme performance. Now, we'll be running commercials from time to time. We'll watch that replay up on the big screen as he goes 3, 30, and 74. 3, 30, and 74. Those fancy wheels and those tires, you'll see a lot of them out here. All well, while we wait on that distance, here's the guy that won last night, Seth Novak out of Howells, Nebraska. The Nebraska man took it home. Where's my Nebraska people at? Hit me here. Oh, man. Lightman. Lightman was second last night at 3.05. Novak, bounty hunter, was first last night at 3.08. We're trying to get that Thunderbolt trophy. Bounty hunter goes 3.26.99. and 3.26 and... 99. On the other side, Clem Schluter out of Carrollton, Missouri. We're having trouble with the laser beam reading. Having trouble with the laser beam reading. That's the reason why the rock sets right where it's at until we get the measurement. Ron will be back with that a little bit. If that distance in a little bit. Out of Triplett, Missouri. Now this tractor is fairly new. It's not brand new, but a lot of components on it is new. Clem Schluter learning how to handle Grand River Deer 3. <laughs> Clem Schluter, one of our senior outlaw members that takes the machine down the track. Uh, he is, there's three generations pulling here this weekend from the Schluter family. They brought three tractors, three generations, and Clem up on that replay right there. 
Did not have the best of hooks last night, but he's definitely going to do better tonight as he goes 312-91. Three. This guy is two points behind a Nebraska man. Now, this tractor comes out of Kansas, where my cohort comes from. So, he would love to win the class, yes, but he hopes to go far enough that the Nebraska guy that will be coming up a little bit later does not catch him. They call it the digging deep deer. Had a, had a pull in his hometown two weeks ago at Bound City, Kansas. <laughs> starting line got him a little bit. That's where he, he had the starting line, not that he was too aggressive, but the motor really never had a good chance to get up on top and really walk and talk. He done a great job of pulling, but the motor really never had a good chance to get up on top, but the young man still stayed with it. Now I know the wrench behind this tractor. I know where this tractor comes from, and it's a far better tractor than 12th place, Colburn. Oh, he had to work for that last eight feet. He had to work for that last eight feet. Coburn's in a tractor with no name. They haven't named it yet. Looking for a sponsor out of Richland, Missouri. Good looking international. 310.77. Now my distances are starting to drop a little bit. 310 and 77. And just as I mentioned to Ron a moment ago about how his pickups was all following a road over on that right side, somebody was going to try this left side. We'll take a look where I am, ladies and gentlemen. This guy runs an Agco dealership out in Osceola, Nebraska. Got third place last night. We got Craig Schmidt doing the driving tonight in high velocity, the Legacy Edition. Oh, he's trying to get up there in between the two guys that's battling for that Thunderbolt. He is trying to get up there in between the Bounty Hunter and the four play. He's trying to get in front of him, but it don't look like it's going to happen now with the where the flag is. The Foxy Lady of Charlie Miller went 306.35 feet, 306.35 well, high velocity goes 321.94. Puts him in the number four spot right now. Up on the replay as we look at that replay. But finished in the number eight spot. Wants to do better than that. Got to go past 321, get in the top four. Oh, come on. That man was trying, that man was trying really, really hard. The outlaw. The Agent Orange Chevrolet went 316.77 feet, 316.77. Outlaw goes in the number five spot right now at 318 and 65, 318. Oral support. She didn't do what she wanted to. Come on, ladies, get loud. One thing about it, she breaks it, she ain't got to fix it. Hubby will take care of that. One thing about it, if she wins it, it's because of her driving ability. And if she don't win it, it's because Hubby didn't tune it up just right. Very aggressive on the line. Good on the replay up there. 308 and 38. Give the lady a round of applause. 308. 
The guy on the line right now has got a lot at stake. He is the points leader in the Outlaws. Had a disastrous hook last night. He could fall out of the lead easily here today. He's got to go. Come on, Nebraska. Help your man out, the main farmer. That's what he needed. Now, David Novak out of Howes, Nebraska, went 10th place last night. Now, he's currently, he's currently, before that pull, the points leader, but only two points ahead of Digging Deep Deer. Digging Deep Deer has a distance of 313.71. Now, we're going to wait. There you go, 318.04, 318.04. He's going to stay in the points lead. He ain't going to win this class as he sets at number six, but he's going to still be the points leader as we leave out of here tonight. All right. International folks, you're trying to open deer season. You got two John Deers, first and second. Where's my international people at? What do you say? I knew he was in trouble back here about 200 foot when the, the front end really wasn't carrying and the back tires was bouncing. You'll be able to watch that on the replay. We'll get a distance in here in just a second. See on the replay, coming off very smooth, he rode the clutch, but the front end never just really wanted to carry. And there's a bounce back here in the back end as he goes 313.46, 313.00, to mean farmer, 318.04. Oh, get serious. Got some of that serious and let the machine walk over to the right side. Let the machine walk over to the right side. He didn't want to hit the brakes. Tried very hard. The no green, no glory in a points race. These distances are going to become so very crucial. 323.87. He goes to number four. He just went past both those boys and gained some very, very crucial, crucial points. A man out of Missouri. As nutrient advisors, as Farmers Foreplay went number one here tonight, number two last night. The bounty hunter... Going down the track right now, Seth Novak out of Howes, Nebraska, went number one last night, number two tonight. So he tied in points, exactly tied in points with the Farmers foreplay. They both had a win apiece. We had to go to the third tiebreaker, which is combined distance. Seth Novak and the bounty hunter pulled the distance grant. Well, the farmer's foreplay. Let's go there first. Farmer's foreplay pulled the distance of 635.74. For the weekend, he pulled 635.74. The bounty hunter that's going to get the Thunderbolt trophy, going to keep the Nebraska trophy in Nebraska, pulled six. 35.94. Two tenths of a foot separated two tractors in two days of pulling. How about a big round of applause for Seth Novak?